Today, I'm going to show you how to color tone your image using a gradient map in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is gonna be so cool. We're gonna show you how to color tone an image using a gradient map. And this is really easy to do. Think of it kind of like an Instagram filter, except you got a lot more control and you can do it over your full sized images. Just helps to add a little bit more of an artistic touch. All right, guys, we got a great episode. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Here's our image for today. We got a cool biker chick here and it's the perfect type of image for color grading. We're gonna give it a little bit more of like a retro type look. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna go up to layer, we're gonna go down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna go to our gradient map. Okay, let's go ahead and hit okay. And we've got a gradient map here with a layer mask, and it's going to load in this gradient. Basically how this works is it uses this similar to a histogram. So anything that's here on the left side of the gradient is going to be coloring the shadows of our image. So there you can see we've got kind of like a light blue covering the shadows there. And here we have a white that's gonna be covering the highlights. So we can change this gradient to change basically what gets colored in our image. Now we have a couple of options here. We have our option for dither, which basically introduces a little bit of noise into our gradient. So if you notice that your gradient has any type of banding, you can use dither in there and that should help that. Okay, we also have the option to reverse this. So in this case, now we just switched our gradient. So we've got white here is going to be for our shadows and we've got this blue for our highlights. Now in this case, it doesn't make sense to reverse this. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. Okay, so here's our gradient map. Now it's really simple to use. We wanted to go ahead and change the gradient on our image. So let's go ahead and double click right here on our gradient. And here we have our gradient editor. Now, by default, we have a few gradients that are loaded into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and click through those so you guys can see kind of the effect we're going for here. So here we're gonna see, basically we've got reds here in our shadows and greens in our highlights. So you're gonna see it's gonna basically do the exact same thing, right? Reds in our shadows and greens in our highlights. Now in this case, this is kind of cool here, we've got blue that goes into red and that goes into yellow. So gradient maps are really nice because you can have a lot of different colors loaded into one image. So let's go ahead and use this. We're gonna use the blue, red, and yellow. Let's hit okay there. And we're just gonna use this as a quick test. Now, obviously, I mean, this kind of looks cool. It kind of looks like a poster or whatever, but it's way too strong of an effect. So we can lower down the opacity of our gradient map layer. Let's go ahead and just click here and lower down our opacity. And there we get like a really cool color toned photo. So even from something that looked like, wow, that was too much earlier, now actually looks pretty cool. Maybe a little bit not so, not so harsh. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that all the way back to 100% and let's change the gradient that we loaded it up. So I clicked on the blue, the red, and the yellow gradient. Now here we can actually choose to change the gradient. So in this case, we've got our blue. I can click here and drag this to the right Basically how that works is anything that is darker than this point here is going to turn blue, okay? Here we've got our reds as our midtones and yellows as our highlights, and we're doing a little bit of a mix in between them. So between red and yellow, we've got some orange. So we can click on any of these colors and move them around. There we go, so I can bring my reds up, and then we've got reds a lot closer to my highlights. We can bring this down, and we've got reds closer to my shadows. Now we can also change our colors. So in this case, let's say we don't want this to be blue. Well, if I click here on blue, we can click on our color. There we go. And then I can choose to maybe make this a little bit more magenta. And as I do this, it's gonna automatically update on my image. You know what, and let's go ahead and make that just a little bit darker as well. All right, that looks cool. So let's hit okay there. Now this red, we're gonna click there. And here in my color, I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty good. I want it to come a little bit more towards orange there, a little bit more towards skin tone. All right, and we're gonna bring that up, something right about there. And then the yellow, it's just a bit too saturated. So we're just gonna bring this a little bit less saturated. So you can see, we can change our effect here by either changing the opacity, what we did earlier, or simply by changing the actual gradients here. Now you can see I can go black on my gradient and it's basically gonna load in black for my highlights in my image there. So you have a ton of control over color in your images. All right, let's hit okay there. And we're gonna hit okay. And then I'm just gonna lower down our opacity a little bit. 
And I think that looks really, really cool. So that's the whole idea behind color grading. You can change the shadows, midtones, and highlights separately, and you can load in different colors for each of those. All right, so that's taking a look at some of the basic gradients loaded within Photoshop. Now let's take a look at some of the advanced gradients that Photoshop has built in for actually color toning your images. So to get back to our properties, we're gonna click on our gradient map, make sure you click here on your actual gradient, and here we have our gradient editor. Now these are all the presets that come loaded within Photoshop to begin with. Let's go ahead and make this window a little bit larger because we're gonna load some more presets. Now we're gonna click on this gear icon right over here. There we go. And you see we have some options for like displaying a large thumbnail or a small thumbnail or a list, things like that. We can reset the gradients and that's going to give you the original ones here, or you can replace them with any gradients that you choose to load into Photoshop. Now you also have all of these different gradients that are loaded within Photoshop. For instance, we have color harmonies. Let's go ahead and start with that. Let's click on color harmonies. Now it's gonna ask us if we want to replace. If I replace this, it's gonna get rid of all these and just load up the color harmonies. So in this case, I'm gonna hit append, which is going to add these color harmonies to our image. Now we can start clicking around on these and we've got totally different effects that we could load in to our image, which is really cool. So here are some like just co colors that are gonna play really nicely with each other. And you can see that does look really, really cool. Now, some of these ones here earlier on, we've got, look how many different colors are lo loaded within our gradient. And here within our image, it actually looks pretty cool in my opinion. All right, so those color harmonies. Now we do have more options here. Let's click back on our gear and I'm gonna go to photographic toning. So Photoshop knows that you probably are gonna use this for color toning and it loads photographic toning here within the defaults of the program. So photographic toning, we're gonna click on append. There we go. And it's gonna add all of these gradients to our gradient editor. So now we can click through these and we've got a bunch of different color toning that we can apply to our photo. So starting here at the top, some really simple variations of black and white. Here we've got some sepia tones. There we go. All right, moving in, we're getting a little bit cooler. There we go, we've got some cools and a little bit more on the red side. So we have all of these color tones. That one's pretty cool there with some blue in the shadows. You can see how many different steps we have too. So we've got like black and then a dark blue, lighter blue, more of a neutral color, and then a uh, little bit more of a skin color and then white. So all these different gradients are loaded into Photoshop and you can use them. It's basically like clicking through Instagram filters. That's kind of how I think about it. But it's really cool because you can kind of get these and you know, like click through them and say like, oh yeah, that actually looks really cool. Uh, let's see, maybe I want to just click here and you know what, change this from blue. I want to just change to a little bit more magenta. Let's push this up a little bit. Hit okay there. And this guy right here, we just want to maybe desaturate that a little bit so it doesn't affect my skin tones as much. Maybe lighten it up a little bit as well. All right, and we'll pull that towards red. Cool, so we can go ahead and start changing our gradients out to what fits our images. All right, let's go ahead and hit okay there and we're gonna lower down the opacity and here we have a cool color tone image. So there's our before and after. Again, you don't have to make it like 100% visible. Like, of course you can do that if you want, but most of these are, effects are gonna look better between like 10 and 30%. So that's a 30% there. And yeah, I think that looks really, really cool. So if you guys are doing like branding or something like that for, let's say working with a, a client who wants to do like a retro styled image, you can do an entire photo shoot and then run them all through the same exact gradient map and all the images for the brand are gonna have the same colors in them because this actually dictates the colors from the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So it's a really cool way to color tone your images. All right guys, that's it for the episode. Really simple today. If you wanna do this yourself, just follow these key steps. First, start off by creating your gradient map. Go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and down to gradient map. Now you can use some of the default gradients that are loaded within Photoshop. And if you wanna change any of those gradients, simply click on the color sliders. You can drag them left to the right. You can add a new slider simply by clicking right below the actual slide bar. And if you click on a color, you can change on the color box right down below it, and you can make each individual color different. If you wanna load more gradients into Photoshop, simply click on that little gear icon. In this example, we use the Color Harmonies 1 and the Photographic Toning, which offers a lot of different options for color toning your images. So you can click through those and you can change up at any point in time. 
I highly suggest lowering down the opacity. Somewhere between 20 and 30%, it's gonna look great on most images. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We're gonna put a big subscribe button on there and we'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, simply leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Let's just jump into Photoshop real quick, why don't we? Tether. Layer. Yep, layer. That is it for this tutorial. Dang, that's so cool.